VSPR is a visualization framework for exploring results and quality control data from CRISPR-Cas9 screens. The interactive interface it provides is the final product of the magic VSPR workflow. In this video, we'll demonstrate how VSPR displays quality control measurements. If you don't have Magic VSPR installed, click here to learn how. Once you do, you can follow the directions for configuring data for VSPR in this video, or open up the VSPR demo file directly by running VSPR test. A link will be returned. Pasting this into a web browser, you'll be redirected to the VSPR home screen. Across the top of the screen, you'll see four tabs, Experiment, Quality Control, Results, and Compare Experiments. VSPR can be invoked with multiple experiments at once, allowing you to draw comparisons. The demo includes data from three experiments. We'll choose the one corresponding to an experiment with embryonic stem cells, ESC. The next three tabs allow you to choose how to view the data. In this video, we're going to explore the Quality Control tab. You'll see that this page contains a large number of visualizations. Just by hovering over them, you can read about their functions and even download them as vector files. Apart from finding essential genes with magic, a central purpose of Magic Visper is collecting quality control measurements. Visper divides these into four levels, three of which can appear on this page depending on what data is given the workflow. Sequence level quality control measurements aim to display possible sequencing errors based on the data in FASTQ files. These two graphs show the base quality distribution of sequencing reads, while this one displays GC content distribution. Ideally, the data should have a median quality value over 25, and GC distribution should be consistent across samples. Based on these graphs, there should be few sequence quality issues with this demo experiment. The second level of quality control measurements is based on the sgRNA read counts collected from MAGIC. MAGIC maps raw sequencing reads to sgRNA sequences in the library. This graph shows the relative percentages of mapped and unmapped reads. A high percentage of unmapped reads can indicate sequencing error, low library quality, or other quality issues. The next graph shows the log base 10 of the number of zero sgRNAs. Ideally, this should make up less than 1% of the sgRNAs in the library. The Gini index measures the unevenness of sgRNA read counts. In the plasmid library or negative selection experiments, this should be as low as possible. Sample level quality control checks the consistency between samples. For this, we'll switch to the melanoma dataset, which provides a better example. Here, VSPR draws the samples on the first three components of a principal component analysis. You can see that the replicates are clustered together, indicating consistent results. These graphs show the distribution of normalized read counts for each sample on box plots and cumulative distribution functions. Similar samples should display similar distributions on all of these graphs. VSPR also displays pairwise Pearson correlations of sample log read counts. Finally, gene-level quality control determines the extent of negative selection in the screens. Since knocking out ribosomal genes leads to a strong negative selection phenotype, VSPR lets users evaluate the significance of negative ribosomal gene selection. This is done using gene ontology enrichment analysis via the third-party Gorilla software on the results page, which the next video will demonstrate. You now know how VSPR displays measurements for four levels of quality control and how to interpret the measurements for your data. For more information on quality control and magic VSPR, please visit the links in the video description below.